Hi, in this video I would like to talk about domain and range and we're going to be using graphs to uh, determine how to write the domain and range using uh, the proper notation. So let's take a look at this first example where it says to determine, determine the domain of the following graph. So anytime we're looking at the domain, the domain refers to the set of possible input values um, and what are our input? The input is X. So anytime we refer to the domain, we refer, we refer to the X values. Uh, so let's take a look at this graph. And to look at the X values, we're going to look left and right. So in other words, across. Now, one important thing is a closed circle means included. And if you see an open circle, it means it does not include that number. So if I were to write the domain for this example, I could see going left to right that it starts at negative 7 on the left and it continues. You could see it's continuous as I long, go along this curve. So if I go from left to right, it stops at positive 5 and also closed circle which means including five. So when you look at the bottom uh, that we have here on Delta Math, we have uh, two options we can use. So of course, we're gonna say all real numbers because when we're looking at domain, we say all real numbers, um, but containing um, negative seven onto five. So how would I write that? Well, because both are included, I'm going to include square brackets. Square brackets means that both numbers are included on the left and on the right. So I'm going to click on the square brackets here and always write your lower bound first. In other words, your lowest number is always on the left and your highest number is on the right. So I could see the left is negative 7, so I'm going to input negative 7. And then on the right, I will input 5 because the graph extends from negative 7 onto 5 horizontally. So I'm going to place uh, 5 right inside the square bracket. So it's between negative 7 and 5. I'm going to submit the answer. And then it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to submit this answer? So it looks correct to me. It looks fine. Let's go ahead and say yes. And we got it correct. So look what happens with the domain. They actually shaded the region of the domain. So remember, the domain is the x-axis. Our starting values where you want to put on the left is negative 7. Notice they said closed circle, which is what I mentioned. Anytime you have a closed circle, you want to use a square bracket. And our maximum value is 5 which is also included. So we use a closed circle is included. We use a square bracket, but we close it off. So the domain using brackets is between negative seven and five. Now there's an alternative notation which you can use, uh, which is the one on the bottom. So of course, uh, X is an element of all real numbers. And this is showing you that X in the middle here represents the uh, is greater than neg negative 7 and smaller than 5. Now notice the less than is equal to. It's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to because both numbers are included. All right, so let's try another one. Let's see if it will give us range or domain. I'm going to go ahead and try a new problem and see what we get. In this case, it's asking us to find the domain again. And again, we have closed circles. You could uh, pause your video and just write it down on a piece of paper to see if you get this right. Um, so again, because I have a closed circle on either end, I'm going to use the two square brackets. And the left lower bound is negative 2. I'm going to put in negative 2. My upper bound is 10. Remember, we are looking at domain. So this is only the x value. So the graph extends from negative 2 on the left onto 10 to the right, closed on both, end, on both ends, and it is all real numbers. So I'm going to submit my answer check to see if it is correct. That's what we wrote down. And we are going to see how it uh, closes off the domain. It shows you the shaded region. So all values between negative 2 and 10 are part of our domain. And again, 
They explain it here. Now look at the alternative notation. We can write negative 2 less than or equal to x, um, where less than or equal to 10. So x is actually greater than or equal to negative 2 and smaller than or equal to 10. Okay, let's try another one. Maybe we can get a range problem. Uh, so this one is range. So remember what range is. The range is the set of all possible output values. Um, so what are output values? There are the y values. What are the y values? You look at up and down the y axis. So I'm not going to look across. I'm going to look at up and down. So if I can actually see where the lowest point is. Okay, so be careful here. It's a little tricky. You don't want to look at the closed circle here and here. You want to look at, you want to look in this direction going up and down. Okay, so the lowest value here looks like is um, three. So the lowest value is three. And what's the highest value this graph goes to? So it looks like it is eight. So remember, range is looking at your graph vertically. So in this case, there are no open circles, so it does include three and it does include eight. So I can use the square brackets again. Um, so let's go ahead and let me just erase this so it doesn't interfere with what we write next. Okay, so how will we write that? Well, the same way as we wrote the domain, we're going to write the range. I'm going to use two square brackets. My lowest value was 3, so I'm going to write 3. And my highest value went up to 8, so I'm going to put 8. I'm going to go ahead and submit my answer. And are you sure you want to submit 3, 8 in square brackets? Yes. Let's take a look. This time the range you can see is a vertical. It's the vertical uh, representation of the shaded region. So look at the y-axis. I have a closed circle. Notice they added these two dots right here. Okay. I went from the lowest point of this graph to the highest point of the graph. That determines the range. So again, looking at the notation, the lowest value goes on the left, the highest value goes on the right. And you can also write it this way. Uh, 3 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 8. The way we would read it is that y is greater than all numbers that are 3, so above 3, and less than or equal to 8. So again, y is greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 8. So all numbers in between are part of our range. So 3.1, 3.2, 4.7, 4.999, nine, anything that falls in this uh, region is part of our range. All right, let's see if they we can find a problem with an open circle. So I will show you how to do that. Okay, here's one, and this is a graph that says determine the domain. All right, so now because I have an open circle, domain first of all is left to right, our uh, open circle is at negative 11, and then we go on to positive 11 on the right. So when I want to write uh, the domain, I do not include negative 11. So if you were going to use the brackets, you would have to use a rounded bracket. So a round bracket means does not include and a square bracket does include. So on the left, I will have a round bracket. On the right, I will have a closed bracket. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in negative 11 on the left and on the right, it is positive 11. And let's go ahead and submit that. and we can see the shaded region of our domain. Okay, now the graph stops at 12 and negative 12, but it goes forever on the, to the top. Okay, so this is just your graph paper that we can see, but this shaded region does not stop here. It continues forever up and down. So our domain can be written in two ways. Notice how our open circle says round bracket, closed circle is a square bracket. So we will write our domain with a rounded bar bracket and a square bracket. And then the alternative notation is to write it with um, inequality. So look at the inequality this time. A round bracket means not including negative 11. The inequality here 
is less than. So um, obviously it's less than, but the X is facing the open part of the inequality. So we would say X is greater than or equal, not equal to, sorry, X is greater than negative 11 and smaller than or equal to 11. Okay, so that is our domain. Let's see if we can have something with two open circles, but I think you're kind of getting the idea. Okay, the range here, um, let me look for something else with an open circle, two closed circles, anything different, two closed circles, two closed circles, looking for open circles, two closed circles, two closed Okay, open circle domain. All right, this is the same idea. Your domain right here, open circle at, all you would need to know where does it touch the x axis. We can see it is somewhere here. It is negative 11. So the domain begins at negative 11 here and ends at positive 11. So let me use the other notation without um, rounded or square brackets because if you want to use uh, the inequalities on the left it's not equal to so basically um, the way I want to write this is I want to write my lower end number first which is negative 11 I will write a less than uh, inequality because it's not including negative 11 I will put my x value here which is basically saying x is in between negative 11 and less than or equal to positive 11 and of course a part of all real numbers so let's go ahead and submit that look at my inequalities notice open circle what attaches to that and closed circle how i represent that so this is what i want to show and again they will probably show you both notations so you can either use open circle or you can use the with a closed bracket or you can use an inequality either one will work uh, most students find this one is uh, less confusing but it's important to know how to do it in both ways all right so I will uh, let you uh, try to do these Delta math problems and um, to practice writing domain and range using a graph Later on, we're gonna practice writing domain and range just looking at an equation. Um, again, use any of the brackets that are matching the graph or you can use the inequalities. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is um, look at the different types of graphs. So any one of these is possible. So this one right here means two closed circles left and right including. This one here means the left is included, the right is not included. This one here means the left is not included, the right is included, or both may not be included. So you would need to use round brackets for both. And it's same for the range. Okay, so hopefully um, try these examples and see how this works out for you.